Hi, one of the most popular posts on my website is making WordPress passwords work in Laravel. So I thought it would be nice to make a quick video out of it. I've already set up a uh, Laravel application with uh, basic authentication that Laravel comes with. So let's go ahead and get started with step one of the article. We are going to install the Laravel WP password package. Give a huge thank you to Mike McLean because he basically provides the functional functionality to make this all work. So we're going to install this package. We are going to our terminal. And as you can see, I have already executed it, but you basically are going to say composer require and then hit enter. I've already done that, so I can skip this step. Uh, next, we need to register the service provider. So we can copy this, go to our config uh, app file, and here we're going to implement the service provider. Let's be a little consistent here. All right. Okay, so step two is that we are going to create a listener. And this listener is going to hook in on failed login attempts. So let's go ahead and create this file. Like this. Let's just go ahead and copy this. So here you can see we are using the facade from the WP password package. And within this method, um, this method is executed when we have a failed login event. Then we are going to try and find the user based on the email address that was put in. Now, if the user is found, we are going to see if we can authenticate, but now using the WordPress check uh, function. Now, if the validation is successful, we are going to log the user in we are going to update the user password and use the Laravel hashing for that. So this only has to be executed once and then we are going to save it. All right, so let's save this. Um, and the third and final step is to register the listener. So we need to do that in the event service provider. Um, Let's be a little consistent here. Now, if we want to make Taylor Altwell extremely happy here. Okay, so now that we have registered our listener in the service provider, we can save this file. And now when we are going to log in, in our application, our WordPress password should work. Now to show that this works, I'm first I'm going to uncomment this code. So now I'm going to try and log in with the user that has a WordPress password using the WordPress password. Well, that didn't work, but now I am going to uncomment the code and try it again. And as you can see, this password will be updated after we have successfully logged in. So let's go ahead and try it. And we are now logged in. And as I'm refreshing here, you can see the password changing to the Laravel hash. So that's really all there is to it. Um, thank you for watching.